This is an FRC C Rio. It's the main brain of an FRC robot. The C Rio is made by National Instruments and can be programmed with C, C, Java, LabVIEW, and for FRC purposes, some others such as Python. In the 2012 season, a new C Rio was introduced. It only has four slots, one, two, three, four, one Ethernet port, and can function at a lower voltage, which means if your robot has a low voltage at the end of the match, it's less likely to just cut out. The new C Rio has a very similar processor, but more RAM and more disk space. One of the 2012 C Rios will come near kit of parts. The C Rio has reconfigurable slots. So, for example, if I wanted to do one thing, I could take out this slot and replace it with another. Sadly, in FRC, we are only allowed to use one configuration. Here you can see the C Rio's power, FPGA status, and user 1 indicator lights. These are used to see what the C Rio is doing without having to look at any software. These are dip switches. They are not present on the new C Rio. They are used to resurrect your C Rio if something happens to it software wise. This is a serial port. This is used for digital I.O. In our case, for a CAN bus. This is power to our C-Rio. You use a connector like this, plugs in. You connect a red positive wire to the V and a black negative wire to the C. Then the other side goes into this part of your power distribution board. Then you have two Ethernet ports on the old C-Rio or one on the new C-Rio. Moving on, we have several different types of modules. The first module is used for analog input. To utilize analog input, you must use a breakout board such as this one. One of these will come in your kit. Just have to press it down. And it is attached. Make sure you put two screws in here so that it doesn't come out while you're using it. Make sure that before competition, you add a jumper in between these two pins the ones farthest away from this blue part. This will allow your robot to see how much voltage your battery is outputting. This is required at competition and highly recommended when you're just practicing. Now you can use these eight inputs to connect sensors such as potentiometers. For the breakout board to function, you must connect a WAGO connector to the 12 volt output on your power distribution board. next module is used to connect to the digital sidecar. To do so, we need a cable like this. Just plug it in like this. Make sure you put a couple screws in here to make sure that it doesn't come out. And you're good. This module is the same as this one. The next module is used to control pneumatic cylinders. I don't have a breakout board for this module, but it looks a lot like the analog in. For this breakout board, you must connect 24 volts, or it will not function. To attach your serial to your robot, you must take out the module. If you look inside, you'll see screw holes. These holes are used to connect the C-Rio to your robot. It's tempting to connect this right to metal on your robot, but that's a bad idea. The case of a C-Rio is also its ground, and you do not want continuity between your C-Rio chassis and your robot's frame. That will fail you inspection at competition. So make sure you either use plastic screws or connect it to something that's not conductive. 